In this tutorial, I will show you how to search for almost anything in XBMC using Vox Commando. We're going to use the Smart Playlist feature of XBMC and modify playlists using Vox Commando. So let's say for music, the first step I want to do is to create a Smart Playlist. So I uh, go to music, I go to playlists, and then here I can create a new smart playlist. And I'll call this artist hits. And in this case, I'm going to say artist contains you could use artist is but I'm going to I'm going to use artist contains cuz it's a bit more flexible and now here's the magic part I use this to represent our variable and vox commando will replace this later with the name of our artist when we say it now the reason I call this artist hits is because I want to make this a little different I don't just want to find songs by an artist, I want to find songs that are rated high. So I want to add another rule. Go to rating. And let's say greater than. Or we could do a test. Three. And for our tests, then I'll change this to well done. So we're going to go take a look at it. And it looks like it's giving us four more stars. So that's what we want. So that's good. I'm going to go back and just edit and replace this with our variable placeholder and I just like to point out that here I could also if I wanted to uh, if I wanted to have more control with Vox Commando I could replace this with um, a second payload for example like this and then I could say you know, play artist Bob Marley with rating of a, a number from 1 to 5. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. Okay. So now if I go it won't return anything because as I don't have any artists called one in curly brackets. But that's okay. I'm going to close XBMC now. I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to um, users, James, app data. This is where XBMC stores your, um, your data by default, unless you've told it to store data in the programs folder. Roaming. XBMC, user data, playlists. So here we have artist hits.xsp. We'll just show you the path here again. Most likely this will be the same for you, except that your username will be here. So it'll be C, users, whatever your username is app data, roaming, xbmc, user data, playlists, music. Or it may be if you were creating a video playlist that the last folder would be video. So I'm going to copy this file and now I'm going to browse to my Vox Commando folder. You can keep them anywhere but I'm keeping my smart playlists templates let's let's call them templates because they get modified I keep them here 
And I'm just actually going to take the space out of the name. So smarts slash artist hits dot xsp will be the relative path from my vox commando folder. It may be different for you depending on where your folder is and where you put it. You could use the absolute path if you want. I like to use a relative path so that if I move the folder it doesn't break. Now I'm going to open up Vox Commando and go to the edit tree. My intention was to copy that. I don't know if I did that. I'm going to hit Control C to copy that. All right, now I've got some smart playlists already set up. I'm going to clone this command. I'll call it hits. And I'll make my command play hits by, and then the artist. I'm going to put in a payload from XML using the phrase only. And I'm going to select my XBMC artists file. This file is, is generated using Gen XML, which you can learn about in another tutorial. So XBMC artists. Okay. And while I'm here, I'll just point out there's two, two different ways to use an XML file. Uh, if I edit this file, you'll see that Gen XML actually stores uh, the name of the artist and an ID. This is the XBMC ID. However, we don't want to use the ID. In this case, we actually want to use the, the phrase, just the name of the artist. And part of the reason for that is that, that we've set up our smart playlist based on the actual artist's name, not based on the ID. But the other reason is that Vox Commando will actually load significantly faster if you only load phrases instead of mapping phrases to values. It takes uh, at least twice as long to load if you want to replace the phrase with a value. Okay, and this icon represents XML phrase only. And if we wanted to change it to pairs, now it would return the ID number, and this is the icon that you get. So, phrase only. Now we need to edit the command itself, so I'm going to go into the command, choose build. And the only thing we need to change from this is assuming that the command we cloned was working properly, the only thing we need to change actually is this file name. So I'm going to paste what I copied before. So I'm using a relative path from my Vox folder. It's going to go into the smarts subfolder. Load up artist hits.xsp. Okay. And this command, load smart, is designed so that it will open this file and automatically convert your curly bracket number sign to your payload. And I'll just take this opportunity to actually show you what's in this smart playlist. Because if you want, you don't have to use XBMC to create or edit smart playlists. You can go in and change this stuff by hand. So really, this is the, the magic part here. There's uh, a rule artist contains and this is our payload so if I wanted to use a payload for rating I could just go right and edit this by hand and change this to curly brackets too um, or I could change greater than to equal or equals but you need to know uh, you can find reference online for the correct way to construct these or you can use the editor in XBMC so I'll just cancel this Now this is going to be different for every user. Mine is set up correctly, so I don't need to change it. But this value here 
needs to be the correct absolute path to your Vox Commando folder followed by slash voxsmart.xsp. What happens is after it loads this file and replaces the payloads, it saves it in into the Vox folder with this file name. So you need to tell XBMC where to find this file. And like I said, if your command is, once your command is set up properly, you can clone it to make other versions and you won't need to touch this line. And if you're running XBMC on another computer, I'm assuming that you could enter a UNC path here. In other words, computer name backslash backslash drive backslash. Or what would be maybe safer is to map a network drive that has your Vox commando folder on it and use that. This also this sends a home key. After it's loaded the playlist, it'll go to the zero with item and depending on what kind of skin you're using you may want to add another line here that makes it either move down or to the right so if you're using a list view going home and then down would take you to the first item but if you're using um, a view that, that stacks your items horizontally then you would want to go home and then right key. And that's it. It's a little complicated to set up the first time but it's pretty easy to modify afterwards. So I'm gonna save and I'm gonna restart. Run XBMC. Play Hits by Bob Marley. Ignore me. So as you can see, this has worked. And we're getting all four-star songs. Computer. Play Hits by Jamiroquai. We don't have any. Play Hits by Bob Dylan. Play Hits by Ali Farka. Ignore me. And that concludes this tutorial. If you need any help, just go to the forums and let me know and we'll figure it out.